Uh, Joe, good, good afternoon. Nice to, uh, I guess, meet you uh, digitally for the uh, first time. Um, looking forward to welcoming you to Castle Park properly next year, but, uh, well, next season. How's uh, lockdown treating you so far? It's, it's been good. Um, I've, always, I've, got a, I've got a little boy, so I've, I've seen it as a positive, really. He never, you know, I played, I've been in the rugby environment for, for a number of years now. You never get this amount of time um, with, with family. So from that point of view, it's good. Obviously, it's frustrating, you know, there's, there's no normality um, to anything at the moment, but, you know, it's a small price to pay. You know, you look at other people and how they're suffering. Um, hopefully, it'll all be worth it, you know, come come when we can come back to rugby. Of course, as you mentioned, in, in, in rugby, it's uh, quite a demanding career. Um, you guys have, to say the least, and obviously, uh, your position with the Knights now, it's going to be your first sort of full-time coaching gig. Are you completely happy now that you've made that transition from the pitch to the sidelines? Yeah, um, you, definitely. I mean, the, the one thing I learned from last year at Leeds, trying to do both, is um, I really enjoyed the coaching side and, and not, you know, the playing was was getting less and less enjoyable. So, um, from that point of view, you know, I just I just made the decision at the end of the year that um, if I get an opportunity to coach, which thankfully boards and, and the owners, Steve and, and, and Tony did, um, you know, I'll take it and, uh, you know, I'm just looking forward to it now. You did have a, a very long and successful playing career and, of course, in that time you will have uh, you'll have come up against the Knights and uh, been down to Castle Park several times. Uh, are you looking forward to uh, becoming part of the Knights family next season? Yeah, um, I've always been really impressed when, I, when I've come down. Set up is brilliant, you know, real real top facilities. I actually had a look down last year, you know, met met Clive uh, when I was looking at going into coaching last year as well, so... Um, I'm quite familiar with 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 the setup, um, and yeah, just 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 can't wait to you know make it my, my home, you know, and getting the day in day out and work there. It's going to be good. Over the last couple of months, uh, more contracts have got finalised, and more bits of business have been done, and the, the squad that that Bodes is putting together, it looks uh, really exciting. How much uh, impetus have you had, and uh, what do you know about the sort of the squad and the new arrivals that are coming in? To be honest, when I signed, most of them or ninety percent of the squad was done, and then boards has has just kept me updated with with a few of the other um, the re the more recent signings, I guess. Certainly in the batch, you know, and I I know a couple of them anyway. You know, I've been lucky to uh, I played with Mitch at Sale for a couple of years, and um, Ben Betts at, at Leicester. So I'm sure there's a couple more that I haven't that I forgot. But um, in terms of having anything to do with it, not not a lot. But boards has kept me updated, and you know, it looks a a really excitable uh, squad and you know I'm looking forward to working with every one of them. Speaking to, to Steve over the summer I've talked about uh, sort of the vision that he has for the club and his hopes and his aims and where he wants to position the night in the championship and in the future and I'm sure he's uh, he spoke to you about what his ambition is for the club. What are you hoping um, to get out of your position from the Knights uh, in terms of achievements for next year? It's a tricky one isn't it? I mean I've always and I know Boards is on the same the same wavelength is we just want to take it game by game um, and have, have more of a, a way of playing, you know, that, that we judge every week. So um, I know it's been said by both Steve and but and um, the owners that they, they want it to be enjoyable. So, you know, exciting rugby. Um, and I guess as, as the backs coach, you've got a, a pretty big influence in that because the backs um, are the ones who, who, who decide to, to go wide when it's on, etc. So, um, yeah, from that point of view, you know, being a 10, it's the way you want to play anyway. So, you know, that that's really, really exci exciting that um, that's the way we're going to try and play next season. You, you worked with Bodes um, before at Carnegie. Obviously, that was a player-coach relationship. Are you looking forward to uh, renewing acquaintances with him in a coaching capacity next season? Yeah, um, Bodes, we've always kept in touch um, since I've left as well. But when I was at Leeds, you know, really impressed. Um, obviously, with the forwards coach then, but his, his all knowledge for the game was was very impressive. And you could, you know, when you were ten, you could always have a, a good chat with him and come up with ideas. And he had a great understanding of the game. So, um, and speaking to him, you know, really close over the last few months as well, um, I've learned a lot already. And you know, we, hopefully, we seem like we're on the same wavelength in terms of how we we think the game should be played. So, yeah, it, it should be it should be a good combination, hopefully. Uh, I guess I'm putting you a bit on the spot here because obviously you're still very new to the club, not actually had your first working day in the office yet. But if you were to say speak to tonight's fans about next season and you know trying to convince them to come down, what sort of thing do you say think that the fans can expect when they come to watch Castle Rugby at Castle Park next season? 
Um, just a team that looks to play. Now, um, I know Boards has, has mentioned the word adaptable and of course, you've got to play what's in front of you, but the, the, there's one guarantee that if it's on, hopefully, you know, the players are going to take it and, and, and take the opportunity to go wide and, and keep the ball in hand. Um, also, you know, I don't, we don't want to take away the kicking game, but if you look at the Southern Hemisphere and, and the Premiership and, and international rugby, you know, there's a lot more attacking kicks rather than just aimless kicks down the field, you know, so if we can bring them two parts into our game and hopefully we'll be a good team to watch and um, tough to defend against. I know you spent a lot of your career at, uh, at Carnegie in both a coaching capacity and, and a playing capacity um, and obviously sadly last year the, uh, the, they ended up relegated and now the Knights are the only sort of uh, Yorkshire representation in the championship, so how important do you feel it is so, or well, do you feel a, a responsibility? They're almost flying the flag for the county in the championship now. Oh yeah, certainly. I mean, um, it is really disappointing what's happened to Leeds because Yorkshire's, I think, the biggest uh, rugby player county in the country. You know, and to only have one one championship team um, it isn't good enough, really. You know, so um, yeah, there's a big responsibility for Doncaster to to fly the flag now, and hopefully the, the support. Um, we can get a few more supporters, you know, on the back of what's happened with, with the other Yorkshire clubs and um, they can come and watch some good high-level rugby at Castle Park.